Hello everybody, this is Bud. Uh, this is what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, this is glib documentation. glib is like, uh, it's part of the GNOME, it, it's really weird here. You see related libraries, gmodule, gobject, gio. Uh, all of these are related to GTK in a way, or GTK is built upon uh, these technologies like glib and gobject so and i don't know glib is a general purpose portable utility library which provides many useful data types macros of i think it's gobject uh, which is actually uh, what provides the the uh, uh, object oriented capabilities of, of GTK. You can see here authors, GTK development team. So all of these are very much interlinked with each other. Uh, and these, this is the official uh, HTML docs for that that GNOME uh, puts up for us. Uh, and you can see how confusing it is. You see, G object source GitLab GNOME GLib <laughs> website GTK. It's it's really weird. They are all. What I'm trying to say is that if you want to. Uh, properly develop GTK applications. You need access to the G object and glib uh, documentations, uh, reference documentations as well. It, it's like, we don't have to get into exactly how or why, but you kind of just need that. And to view the uh, documentation for this stuff, you normally, if you ha don't have managed to break that some, I, I have no idea what I've done. But I have broken the, uh, this dev help program, so it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. If I hope nothing works in this, and I cannot figure out what I have done because it... here we have GTK3 reference manual, for example. Open GTK overview, open something here. Well, now it works. This works, okay. Does it all of a sudden work here now? If, if that is the case, I am a very happy bud if that is. A... Yeah, this doesn't work, okay. GTK2 and GTK3 works. Hmm, okay, let's see, glib. Yeah, glib is broken. I don't know why some of these pages are broken, but it tries to search for them in the wrong path. I have really tried to figure out what is going on here. And the thing is, I don't like this uh, dev help. It's, I just don't like it. It's a little bit better now. I fixed the theme a bit because this is actually GTK3 client side decoration, stupid uh, interface, whatever. It's not such a big deal really that it is that. And it is kind of working when it works. Uh, it is okay, you know. I, I would use this if it was working, kind of. I wouldn't bother with this really. But in a way, I kind of want to bother with this because there is something that I do like. And that is. Uh, this is uh, devdocs. Uh, this is my uh, local instance of devdocs. I think I have it running now, right? Uh, no. Yes, it is, right? Well, we can just see if it's running. If open. Yeah, it is running. This is uh, uh, running on my local machine here, this instance of, of devdocs. Uh, but it's also available on devdocs.io. And this is like a web app. It's it's really great, this actually. And you can see here, this is, now I am online, so to speak. This is not local, but you see, uh, I have enabled like the i3 documentation is available here. That's available for anyone in, in the, not sure how good it is here, but no, but it's good. Um, and I have HTTP JavaScript, but you see disabled 565 doc sets are disabled here. And they are available here, so I could en enable C++, for instance, CMake, Dart, whatever. You see, a lot of uh, language uh, documentation, ref reference documentation is here. And like normal documentation as well. And, and you can find things like make files and stuff like that. And <laughs> even markdown documentation, if you would ever need that, is available here. Uh, and I think that's great to have like all documentation in one single unified UI like this. So I can search for all documentation here. I can search for Python or Bash uh, in the same Bash, uh, R, whatever you see. 
but it also shows here stuff that might match in other doc sets that I have enabled. So all of these are just from the, it doesn't search these 565 disabled ones here, but I can enable them. And when you enable them, I think at least that is the uh, case that it is, uh, they are, are kind of downloaded. Uh, um, I they, the enabled doc sets, or maybe it's here, offline data. And yeah, maybe you have to do that manually, but you can install these doc sets that you have enabled, and then it will download them into the local storage of, of the browser. And that's uh, really good. It just makes everything faster. Of course, it takes up some, some, some space. You can see some of these are really large, like web APIs here. That's 50 megabytes. Uh, that you would install download in that case but then you have it and then it will work offline as well and there are some third-party uh, uh, frontends for this uh, thing here there is a python one i've been looking at for example that so you don't even need to use a browser to to view this stuff here <clears throat> uh, and it does have gtk now it is enabled here i have gtk uh, enabled but let's Find it here, GTK, GTK, here it is, GTK. Well, it have GTK4 as well. Yeah, I guess that is part of that documentation then. Yeah, but here we have GTK, but no GTK2. That's one uh, issue here, in my opinion, because sometimes you might need to look at that as well. Uh, but as you can see, it doesn't have, what I was just uh, <laughs> ranting about here. It doesn't have glib, it doesn't have G object. it doesn't have those guys, you know. Um, which you really need. You need to have them. So it doesn't work working with GTK and then looking up something here in DevDocs so, uh, because I've tried this workflow, it doesn't work. So many times you, you find, hey, I, I need to look up that in, in the G object reference. And then you have to open dev help and then dev help doesn't work and then you get and then you end up on the official documentation which sucks uh, so much this interface is terrible it's just bad it, it's so bad and it's also here you can only search now i am in glib so if i search for something here i only search glib i don't search g object and then you have to keep all of all of the, keep that in in your head what you're doing here because this gets a bit weird sometimes you don't really know if you're on the g object or or on, on GTK, and as you can see, it all looks, have the same extremely crappy, in my opinion, design. The weird, another weird part of this is that um, uh, uh, they, this is a new design. This is brand new or maybe a year old or, or something, but there exists actually, uh, let's see, I saved the link here just now here. This is, the old docs, they exist, they still exist, but they have, I think that Gnome has broken the design of it by uh, this, it didn't used to have this stupid bar here. So it looks kind of somewhat broken, but this is the old, even if I zoom out here to 100%, it's not my zoom levels that mess this up. It's like they have put this bar over here. So I don't know. But this is the old documentation and the old documentation was actually a lot better now I'm not sure if it even works here to search for, I don't know, um, let's just search for button, see what happens. Yeah, it's it's really weird. It did, didn't used to be like this uh, when it was not at the old uh, developer dash old dot gnome. But I guess they have saved it here for those who, they probably got a lot of angry, <laughs> angry responses from the redesign here. Um, so I thought maybe, but it shouldn't be a big deal to, to just include, uh, this is what I thought, uh, but I was wrong. Uh, since, since GTK is included here, uh, in, in, um, DevDocs IO, no, I don't remember which one I, I had here and I think it's, no, now it works. Um, since since gtk is available in uh, in uh, devdocs and since all of the, the stupid manuals uh, use the same the exact same kind of uh, thing to generate the documentation here the web documentation 
because this is how uh, and I, I know this I knew this uh, that um, let's see if we can find the about uh, dev dogs on Twitter watch your repository on github so I I, I, I looked into this before that the um, dev docs it works by actually by by kind of downloading the web web documentation for example g object documentation here it, do it downloads this whole doc set and then it um, uh, cleans up the the html so it removes like the sidebar here for example and stuff like that then and unifies it with the same css and it also uh, sorts all the pages in in a way that the uh, dev docs here um, so, so, so you can search for things and, and it, it shows up neatly and as it should. Um, God damn it, I don't want my that one I want. So you get like categories with it and you can search for things. I don't want to watch, I, I just want to view the repo. And it is a Ruby project. Not sure if it's like Ruby or Rails. I, I don't know anything about Ruby really. Uh, or now I'm <laughs> starting to know some stuff about it, but I, I basically know nothing about how, how it works. Um, so, but what I thought was that uh, since GTK is here and since it is GTK, Glib, G Object, they, they all have the same layout stuff. It should be quite trivial to, to just uh, use the GTK template thing. Yes, we can find that here. I think it is in um, lib. Docs. Filters is one thing here. And then you see, so all doc sets have this stuff here. GTK. And then you have like clean... H clean html.rb ruby file here to clean up the html remove the, remove the yeah table of contents and stuff like that and entries here I, I thought it would be like including glib i could probably just copy this change the url maybe should be trivial to do that right but as you can see here two years ago since they updated this gtk module it's uh, less than two years since GTK or GNOME updated to this terrible new uh, layout of it. So, so these they don't work anymore. Uh, these um, filters and stuff for for the new uh, documentation. Of course, the old documentation exists, and I could use that, I guess. Uh, and and create docs uh, dev docs doc sets uh, by with the old documentation but you know and i at least i know how gnome operates that one day this page will be gone uh, that can happen like next week that can happen in a year that can happen in two years but it will be gone uh, very much uh, very likely let's see if they even have gtk2 yeah, here, this is what happens when I click on, on GTK. You see, they have even removed now the GTK2 documentation doesn't exist on the web at all. It's like, yeah, we have deprecated GTK2. It, it doesn't, it simply doesn't exist. I have downloaded, actually, I have, I have a backup of this, of Gnome's uh, GTK2 documentation. And the thing is, they had a very good, uh, or quite good tutorial in that uh, documentation for that kind of applies for gtk3 as well not sure gtk4 and 5 but whatever that's a different uh, thing uh, so but now we get to the really really strange part of this uh, little story here um, because i found this this is uh, let me copy the url here so you can see it This URL here, this URL here, gjs-docs.gnome.org. So you can see this is hosted on gnome.org. And can you see what this is? This is devdocs, but with only the gnome documentation, no other uh, good documentation, you know, like bash and c and no, nothing of that we only have a gnu or gnome 
Oh, I lost it here. God damn it. Here, we only have gnome uh, dock sets here. And it's like all of the gnome dock sets. Not available from uh, official uh, uh, dev docs. And that is kind of weird. <laughs> that is very weird. But it doesn't end. The weirdness doesn't end there. Uh, because this... And here you can see it, it, they haven't even bothered changing all, all these links goes to uh, devdocs.io uh, but they have their own uh, repository for this let's see i hope i have the link here um, here it is gitlab gnome so they host it they are this is a of, of, official gnome uh, project it's on gitlab gnome uh, slash devdocs gjs so they have their own instance of this uh, running but it doesn't end the weirdness doesn't end there uh, because when i found this i thought yeah that's great now i don't have to do this uh, gnome nice finally something nice they do you know they have already done this uh, created doc sets for dev docs uh, uh, so i could just copy them here because i i I want these. I really want these. Or I think now I'm not so sure anymore. I will <laughs> get to that. But I would like uh, glib and I would like g object and gtk here. But I would like to include them with the doc sets, with the rest of the doc sets. So I can also have them side by side with i3 and bash, which is completely unrelated, but they are related in the sense that they are documentation. Uh, so I thought, okay, then I, I guess I can just. Um, God damn it, so many. I can probably just copy the filters and, and the, the, the clean URL parts and stuff like that from here uh, for those uh, repositories. But then it turns out here that they use a completely different method to generate those doc sets. What they do, they have a custom Docker file, which is also different from the Docker file. You don't have to use this docker file at all i i am just using like raw ruby on my local machine i don't uh, bother with the docker part here but you could do that if you wanted to but uh, if you want to generate the, the the gnome version here then you need to use docker because what it does is that it installs uh, or it pulls a fedora docker image and then it installs every single package here all of these packages uh, that uh, contains the documentation because all when you install for example well now gtk is a bad example because for for reasons when you install gtk on arch you don't install the documentation so you have to do that separately it's not true for for most of the other things but for some reason they've done that for gtk but whatever let's say when you install gtk or install glib, which is a dependency of GDK here, you will also get the, the doc, doc set. And that is why it shows up in, in dev help uh, here. Like you see, I have lots of doc sets here that have been pulled. And why are most of them working? Why is only the ones that I don't? This is so, it, sometimes this crap works, sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's so weird. Uh, and you see, many of these are, are really, no no one really cares about this. Like, um, I, I think a lot of, of packages here, they don't even realize that this is pulled into this dev help interface here because it's, it's very raw, but it is something and it is useful if you are developing stuff. You see here we have i3 IPC types. This is actually quite good. I think this is generated from source, you know, you add some, some special comments in your source code and then it automatically generates this. It's like baked into the, to the uh, 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 auto tools uh, thing, whatever, whatever. But all of these doc sets are uh, automatically installed with the package. I never installed i3 IPC doc package. It, it was just installed when I installed i3 IPC. Um, so that is what Gn this GNOME thing is doing here in this Docker file. It installs everything and then it uh, uses the installed documentation because the installed documentation files that is used to display here in, in uh, DevHelp, 
it's not the same thing as you see here. That is, the, the, this is like a special generated version. I'm very bad. I hate this uh, new, this, it, it's one of the worst documentation presentations ever, uh, actually. Uh, but the, the raw HTML uh, stuff here, or I think it's like XML or whatever that is used here. It's not the same thing. It doesn't have the same CSS if it even have any CSS. And it also have like meta files for uh, like creating stuff like this. And it's not exactly the same, but it have the same content, of course. So that is what uh, Gnome is doing here. Uh, they, they install all the doc sets, then they use that installed documentation to generate these uh, these dev docs doc sets but it doesn't use the dev docs way of doing it like uh, with filters and uh, that stuff instead they have created some I haven't really looked into exactly how they do it they, but they do a completely different thing and just this this is of course not, I, I don't want to have that workflow of installing packages, pulling local documentation. It's like completely offbeat from what DevDocs is doing. Uh, but when I realized this is what is going on, uh, I still thought that, yeah, maybe maybe these doc sets, because some, somewhere, somewhere, this must just be something that could be copied into uh, DevDocs. So I, I managed to get get hold of uh, uh, people at Free Code Camp, uh, which are who host uh, um, host DevDocs and maintain it here. <clears throat> I, I talk to talk to to them on or talk to them. I talked to someone on on the um, their Discord. Um, and asked, uh, hey, I found this, or I, t I, I told them the story, you know, uh, I would like to use glib documentation should also be included. GTK is not enough. You need, you also need G object and glib uh, documentation, at least if you're going to uh, work with GTK. It doesn't work just having GTK uh, documentation like this. Uh, and they completely understood that. And I said, uh, uh, and I found this. I found that GNOME actually have their own instance of <laughs> DevDocs uh, running. And they were like, what? What is this? How are they doing that? And they they quickly looked at it and they were like, but why why are they, what are they, why are they doing that? Why have they created this complicated special Docker thing pulling local installing? Because this... It takes a very. I actually built this uh, locally. It took it took like forty minutes <laughs> to generate this thing on my computer, I, installing all these packages and all, all of that. And it was like several gigabytes large that uh, doc, Docker image that it resulted in, like an extremely bloated method of doing this. Because the thing is, you can wh when you are developing. Uh, uh, Dev docs uh, doc sets here. What you do is that you you because it's it's quite trivial to download uh, the HTML uh, source. Just just to use a wget and, and pull pull all the web pages. So you have them locally, and then you can work on on that local uh, uh, doc set, which I have here. Here is the glib uh, documentation. Sure, it is it is probably a thousand pages or something here, uh, but that's it, it's not a big deal. It's not 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 a, a lot of uh, files or anything like that. <clears throat> And that is what you do when you work on it. And then when they publish this, uh, because I, I thought maybe that is what GNOME is thinking, that they don't want to burden their own web servers. So instead they, they pull, because what they do here is they, in their uh, version here, they use a Fedora uh, image. So the packages they pull is, they pull them from Fedora. Uh, <laughs> so Fedora is, is like paying for the bandwidth, uh, kind of, you know? Uh, uh, maybe that was their reasoning. I I don't know, but it, this whole thing is so offbeat and so strange, and it's I don't even know how how I found this. I just think I stumbled upon it while maybe I was browsing GNOME uh, rep repo here or something. To I I think I tried to find 
the actual source files for the documentation or how they built the documentation from, from scratch or something like that. But I found this. Um, and I have actually not reached out because they use Matrix. I, do, I, I, I just don't use Matrix, uh, but I guess I, I could try to get hold of, of Gnome because that's what they told me at the DevDocs in the Discord. They, they say, hey, maybe you could reach out to Gnome and ask them <laughs> what this is about and why they aren't contributing. Because they were kind of, they thought it was bad um, or they, they thought it was sad that they didn't contribute this into the dev docs uh, uh yeah upstreams to, to to dev docs here and include because that that would of course benefit uh, gnome as well if, if they had like up to date and and proper documentation here because this dev docs thing is is actually used by a lot of people and i think this is one reason not to use gtk is that it doesn't that the documentation is kind of broken here in devdocs or it isn't broken it's it's just incomplete since you don't have the glib while uh, i think qt for example is 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 here just as as an example i think so yeah here it is um and it it would be much easier to get started working with gtk if you could have the documentation in this documentation thing that people use because these people actually use this and i think it's it's proof this has been around now for a couple of years and it uh, i think it's getting more popular and and it is still really fast and and, and i i really like this project even if it is a web app but whatever there are no good desktop versions of this then you get dev help and dev help only works then you have to build this stuff with dev helps uh, I think the common thing here with all of these entries here are that they are all using glib because if you use glib it kind of automatically does this in a way in quotation mark not really but I, I wouldn't be surprised if every single entry here uh, uses glib uh, let's just say that but there are lots of things that doesn't use glib bash doesn't use glib, I'm pretty sure of that. C, the language, doesn't use glib. Glib is written in C, but, and blah, blah, blah. There are lots of <laughs> documentations uh, that is not part of DevHelp. Uh, and it would be a really, it would be equally much of a hassle to generate like the C documentation into a DevHelp. Maybe someone have already done that, uh, just as an example. But let's say I3 uh, a user manual create a DevHelp entry for that because it it is of course somehow possible i have never looked into how, how to do that but that is possible but i think it's better to instead get the relevant de dev help in quotation mark documentation into dev docs here um, so now uh, what, what i'm doing now is i'm i'm doing this anyways now i i'm trying to generate um uh, glib this is what I got at the moment this is the glib documentation that I, I have uh, created this uh, myself here uh, from from that local file so you can see it's completely messed up at the moment it uh, uh, the, the names and the groups and everything it, because this is quite complicated to do this now I'm, I'm, I'm realizing and it's all all these doc sets they they use like different formats different way to store the files and one thing that seems to be unique with this glib documentation is that they store everything like flat as you can see here well there are no subdirectories here so uh, some of these like for example here we have all all functions func.child.something dot dot something blah 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 and then we have method here like method that is actually an instance method to a, for a, a struct but or a union and it's it's kind of confusing here but I'm I, I will try to do this yeah let's let's go back to glib can we do that uh, no no g object glib there so here here is the documentation then you have uh, like sections here for example structs and if you open one of these a sync q for example then you can see a sync q struct it have these functions but it also have these instance methods so blah 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 it, it, it is connected like that 
and that somehow I need to, to connect these files into the group them in, into the correct group or or so, so that uh, the file uh, yeah you see the URL down here uh, so if I just hover this pop unlocked you see the file is actually method dot async queue dot pop pop unlocked uh, and that might look easy but the thing is that async queue is actually called struct async queue but some sometimes it could be union async queue and stuff like that whatever it, it, it that kind that mess i am in now and i'm not really sure how, how i will uh, proceed doing this uh, but just now i thought hey maybe i, I could uh, sneak peek at the this uh, the official gnome version here and see how they have organized it and then i realized that they I have no idea what, how they organize this. It's like a completely different. They don't have, uh, if you look at the documentation, the glib documentation, we go back to the main page, we see the sections here, we see additional documentation. Th this is additional to glib. So all of this is, is relevant documentation, but it's not like part of this main uh, uh, main table of con contents here, which is, I assume, or we can see it here, sections, we have structs, we have uh, unions, we have aliases, we have enum, bit fields, error domains, callback functions. But this is not how they have uh, structured this at all. You don't see that main table of contents here. And it, I, I don't know, I, it, none of this makes any sense to me whatsoever. So now uh, what I'm thinking is that I will try to generate documentation based on this documentation here, not looking at this whatsoever. Uh, but based on this documentation, trying to categorize this based on how they have categorized it here. Even, I don't understand it uh, because this stuff here, I, I, I don't work <laughs> with glib low level like that. And hopefully I don't need to understand all of this to connect the this documentation and create something. I think I would be, I, I am happy if I can manage to get... Uh, so here, if I op if I expand this glib here, then it will say like structs. Uh, you see, some of these groups they are not included in that uh, section there. So when I expand that, I would like to see these entries here and additional documentation here should be an entry like a a, a section as well. That is what I would like to see, and expanding expanding them, you would see. Uh, each of these pages, I guess. But this is where it gets weird, then I, uh, I think, because let's open one of these. I think a queue. Uh, yeah, this, now it just, uh, I just realized how, how, how they have organized it. And maybe that's also good, you know, because in this documentation, first and foremost, there is no, I couldn't find that async IO here uh, or async let, let's search for it let's search for it uh, async is, is here Can, I, don't, I don't even find that async queue here that is when I search for that in glib it doesn't find anything isn't that weird I don't know I can see now also that I think this no this is more recent actually this so this 2.66 and here we have 2.72 uh, Gnome and all of this I'm doing this because there are some GTK applications I, I'm working on and would like I, I just want this to be like something that isn't I should just be able to open the documentation god damn it and search for whatever I need to search for in an in a easy UI shouldn't be like this uh, so all I want to do is do that so I can work on my GTK. I don't, I actually don't want to work on this doc set stuff here at all, but I, I feel no one else is doing this. Uh, so I should do it. Th that is how open source works, you know, and no one will do it or uh, well, but Gnome is actually, well, but, but Gnome is doing it in an, it, it, they make, they just make everything worse constantly, more complicated, more bloated, more stupid. And that is what I'm trying to say here that. All of this has made me like, I really don't want to work with anything that these guys touch uh, in a way. I don't want to make it. I, 
part of me really don't want to have anything to do with with GTK or glib or G object or GDK or app indicator three or ATK or all of these like they are related there and Cairo you need to you need to have that as well and what is that the other Pango of course and I think they are working on a new font rendering engine now that it's I don't like I don't like you gnome uh, there are days when uh, you you can get really really tired of all this uh, crap and, and w shouldn't this be good like have high priority to present documentation for something as complicated as this actually is you know glib g object and and gtk you need to have a unified why why add them to like separate documentation web ui this should be you should be able to search for gtk functions here gtk new i i don't know then you get uh -huh. what was this or i don't know gtk new is probably not button or something no you, because no no you're in glib you have to go to the gtk and then you have to have three different tabs open all of them looking exactly the same you know it have the exact same so you get like and and you start searching in the wrong on the wrong page you, you can hear that i have done this a couple of times uh <laughs> too many times to just sort this out and here is the answer devdocs devdocs is the answer to this and apparently gnome has figured yeah maybe we should but let's do it like this <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I have been doing a lot of things here since the last video, but whatever. This is what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, and I'm, 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 I think I have decided that I really want to do this because one, one reason for this, there are like more doc sets here that, uh, that isn't included here. I think awk, for example, is not included here. I would like to have that in dev docs. I would also really like to have, because that's another terrible, um, uh, what is that? Go Hugo .io. I think that's, yeah, here's the Hugo, Hugo static site uh, generator, which is the world's fastest framework for building. This is great stuff, a really, really good software. Also really good documentation, but presentation of documentation, not so good in my opinion, quite very bad. Maybe it's better now. It's been, it's been I haven't touched Hugo actually in, in a year or something here, but it's not good. It's it's you have to scroll so goddamn much on this, uh, and you. It would also make so much sense to be able. Yeah, you can search the docs here, but it's it's not. Uh, it would also make a lot of sense to include uh, the Hugo documentations here, for example, in this UI here. Uh, and there are just learning how this works. Then I can start creating my own uh, my own. Uh, Doc sets here, yeah. For for example, Hugo and and uh, um, Orc. Not sure why. Yeah, this is my local instance. I'm not sure why it only includes twenty six disabled here, but whatever. Um. So. So yeah, I, I don't know. I guess that's the end of the video. Th this is useful. Um, also starting to understand that this is very lonely thing here to, to do this. I don't think... The thing is also DevDocs, they, they support... I think most of the doc sets here are actually not created by these guys. Um, such a mess, all of this. Uh, Vision, uh, yeah, 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 good vision, whatever. Because it's it supports like a different uh, related projects. Uh, I don't I don't remember what it's called. Is it dash or something like that? So it supports like uh, a similar doc set thing. Thingamagin. <laughs> Here we have native 
Linux app supports dev docs October 21. I don't know. But, huh. Yeah, this uses Qt then, I guess. I've actually not tried this. Maybe this one is really good. Why haven't I seen this? Uh, written in Jupyter Notebook using QML. So I guess this is some kind of a Python uh, Qt version because I found a, a GDK Python GDK version that I thought I would use. Yeah, this is big. This is what you want, you know, to have its own application displaying the DevDocs server, which could be local. I think mine will be local then. Uh, but have it in a separate application. So that means you don't have to have uh, the browser open even. You can <coughs> doc browser git. Yeah, let's get that. Haskell. It's like, this is why no one likes Haskell, by the way. Install something and, oh yeah, you just need 500 dependencies here. But but C programs also have libraries and dependencies. Uh, yeah, but this is why we don't install Haskell stuff. And no one likes Haskell. Or, this is one reason. There are other reasons as well. But Haskell, didn't see any Haskell here. It's probably like... 5% Haskell also. No, uh, well, there it is. Okay, 24% Haskell. That's quite a lot. That's a lot of Haskell. <laughs> uh, all, all right, all right. I'm not using that. I, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, but you can just de delete the dependencies after the. Yeah, yeah but I don't care. I don't want. I don't want this. And especially not if, if you install this as a Git package. You know. So this will, even if this doesn't seem to, it also seems to be a dead project here, so. Uh, yeah, probably an error, even if we did build it, it doesn't seem to work here, but whatever. Um, since it is a git, uh, what I'm trying to say is that whenever they update the their uh, repository here, it will update on AUR, uh, or when I do a AUR update, I will also update this, and every time, if I remove the dependencies, it will pull them again, into what a mess, what a mess, I'm not doing that. Um, but there is a, a Python, quite lightweight, uh, Python GTK uh, version of this that I have installed, I think, uh, I don't remember. Whatever, because that that is, I, I thought to myself, let's not even touch that at all here till we have fixed these doc set uh, shenanigans here. And uh, yeah, th this is what I'm doing. I'm I'm trying to keep this as the main uh, priority. Now I have I've spent like the last couple of weeks and stuff uh, to <laughs> to procrastinate uh, this thing here, uh, doing a lot of other uh, so important things uh, on the while on the computer. But this is actually where I I need to focus on this. I need to focus on getting glib g object. Yeah, at least those two, because I, I'm not even sure this is easy to to just uh, uh, how similar all, all of these doc sets actually are. Uh, G module, just because they have this stupid gray sidebar and this stuff, it might be. I, I I don't know anymore. But it looks like it will be easy once I can figure out one of these. Hopefully, it will be really easy to do that. And then I also thought because you can do that with uh, uh, DevDocs here, and it doesn't seem like anyone is really doing that. You see, we have GNU Make here, the documentation for GNU Make, uh, GNU Make and Bash, and uh, and I, I I don't know if it doesn't look like it, right? Because these two have the exact same um, when you go to the to to the um, how you can even do that here there's a link to to the actual documentation this is gnu make then if we go to bash 
should look very similar because they are both hosted on well maybe not whatever maybe bash is a no but this is yeah yeah if we find the statement no documentation documentation for bash is here it is i think no okay uh one page per node i think that's what we want here so here is bash represent uh, reference manual they just had different links here and here is as, as you can see it's the same and the thing is the GNU documentation is uh, is actually very good in my opinion, um, but the UI is not perfect. It, it's like none of these docset things seems to be able to to know that people are actually using docsets. They want to be able. You cannot search for anything here in the GNU documentations, so you have to like constantly go back and forth between these. Uh, massive, uh, massive table of contents for the GNU documentations, like GNU make, GNU bash, they're all quite large. And awk looks, also uses the same thing here. Uh, but I don't think they use the same base here in, in devdocs. Like, th there should be a, a GNU super set, so to speak. Uh, uh, same with GTK and glib and stuff here, they should use like the a, a gnome base uh, generator thing and, and you can actually set, set set it up to do that it does it for i think the only documentation that does that is c and c plus plus uses the same uses the same uh, reference now i'm on that yeah what, whatever c and c plus plus use the same uh, 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 base but no, nothing else does and you know if I can figure figure that out, maybe then it's super easy to add awk and, and, and stuff like that and, and keep everything up to date. I, I, I don't know. In one way, I don't want to do this. But at the same time, this is this is good if, if there are people working on, on this thing, this devdocs thing. Or maybe not even devdocs, like unifying documentation. Uh, 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 and and doing this like scraping uh, official doc documentations because I'm I'm sure that after a while while I have been do if I keep on doing this for for a week or something I will be uh, yeah in <laughs> in in the loop here this will be this will probably be a lot easier and it will after a while start to get really easy I think. And then I guess I will be a maintainer here, or a contributor to DevDocs, and then you are bound to that for life, and that you have yet another stupid... Uh, uh, this doesn't <laughs> work that well, but uh, whatever. Yeah, there is like some JavaScript shenanigans here, but... Searching, viewing, it feels very lightweight, it has always done that, and they have, have not really done anything... Uh, Adding, adding stuff to, 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 or they have not bloated the interface or stuff like that. It, it, it's really good DevDocs. I, I think it's really good. Uh, I was also thinking, like just brainstorming for myself, that in a way it is possible to to rewrite or make something like this, but use something like Hugo. Or a static site generator and do everything static get rid of uh, javascript completely maybe have uh, a javascript widget thingy thing to to be able to search but that is also it, it is possible to create search uh, a, a static search even if it, you, you need to, to to make like a static database thing that in a way you, you're you, it's not better in a way but you can actually get rid of all JavaScript if you wanted to and, and still have a similar uh, or same UI. But it's you get a very, very bloated uh, 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 source, a lot, a lot, a lot of HTML files and stuff like that. But it is kind of possible. Uh, but whatever, I will definitely not do that since there is a lot of work uh, that has been poured into this. And it's also, it seems like it is almost now because things get a lot of attention and love when it's new and then it fades, you know. Uh, but let's not let uh, uh, devdocs die here. That's, that's what I think. And I also think these free code camp guys, they, they, are, they are good. 
they are really good. Uh, they have a, you have probably seen this on YouTube. They have lots of of uh, free uh, YouTube tutorials, and I think they 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 try to uh, get like they don't have in-house people doing. They they kind of recruit other YouTubers or or. Uh, educators and stuff like that to to create free content. Uh, it's it, it's a win 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 uh, situation thing thing thing. Uh, I'm not sure they don't even have a link to YouTube here because uh, that's uh, I I've never I actually never been to this website. Uh, can I just get to? <laughs> I don't want to sign in with anything. I just want to see your YouTube videos. Oh yeah, I guess we can do it. YouTube free code camp. Free code camp. Here it is. And that's a mega is it? So I think this is like a this person uh, is uh, like a somewhat famous streamer or whatever and these other guys, I, I, you, you see, see them on. Yeah, here, here we have this guy. <laughs> he did it on, on. Yeah, whatever. This is. I think this is a great resource. I should actually subscribe here. So, uh, and they have six million subscribers. Um, and I actually watched these some of these videos. Uh, you can see they are very often very long. They make like a full course in one, one video. Uh, but they are not like this insanely long, or sometimes I guess they are. This is like five hours of Django uh, uh, development. But it, I think this is this is good stuff. And they mix everything like Python, AWS. Uh, but it's all soy dev. I'm not a soy dev. But I'm a system. Uh, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I guess I'm soy dev here who, who likes this. Uh, Dev docs. You can have your you can have your trough database grep based workflow to get documentation. I don't like that. I, I actually don't like man pages either. I and the, I saw that by the way. Wonder if it's so. There was a pull request for including all yeah here add all Debian man pages. That is like. <laughs> 10,000 man pages or something. Or no, 200,000 individual man pages. You could, in theory, include that, you know. You could, in theory, include Arch Wiki in, in this. And, you know, for most people, that wouldn't make any sense. But for. Uh, I wouldn't complain to have Arch Wiki here or Arch man pages. Maybe I add that to my personal uh, thing. Because I actually prefer this than doing man whatever. I really do, really do. Having everything in the same interface. And sure, that will become a very bloated thing there, but that's that's like something really useful to spend your resources, your RAM on. If this is something that would, in the end, occupy 500 megabytes of RAM, even if I use that uh, uh, lightweight Python GTK, Viewer, that's fine, I think. Whatever, whatever. Uh, I hope I'm not wasting my time doing this. Uh, we'll see where, where I end up. But now I now I have uh, kind of crossed the line of point of no return here. I kind of have to to to, <laughs> to make this glib uh, uh, thing I'm again here uh, work. And I actually don't think that I am that. Uh, uh, I, I can I can do it. I can make this a thing. Probably takes a couple of hours here. I don't know. Twenty hours maybe. Forty hours maybe to get to all of this. Like glib, g object, everything in sync. You also have to. I haven't even started with that cleaning the HTML, and you can also uh, create like special. CSS because all, all of these doc sets have like s different types of, of code blocks and stuff like that. If you, you can include syntax highlighting and stuff like that, I think in, 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 in the things here you see things like this. Haven't even started looking into that. Um, 
Have a great day everybody. I hope you have some cool projects going on that is not like this, that is actually fun to do. Uh, and that you have had a great summer so far. It is kind of a almost, it almost feels like a normal summer. There are no riots or viruses and stuff like that, uh, really. I don't know, whatever, let's not talk about that. Let's just have a great day. Consume product. See you in the next video. Bye bye bye.